Hi Taurus, this is going to be your Taurus Sun, Moon and Rising video for October 2024. I have with me today the Radiant White deck, my trusty dusty La Vida Sibila, and we'll wrap the reading up with a Psychic Oracle Tarot. Let me turn the camera around and we'll get started with the reading. This will be nine cards. And if you want a personal reading, you can contact me at the address on the screen, hiddenlotustarot at gmail.com and say to me, hey Tara, I want a, a 45 minute reading which is my most popular package by the way and I will contact you back with booking instructions and payment link I have done some meditation and shuffling on your sign and glyph Let me put one more shuffle on. Nine cards down. Cut the cards. Here we go. Six of Wands. Four of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, The Hangman, The Three of Cups. Five of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. What is over the whole reading? The energy. It is the Hierophant. I have two pinnacles, one wand, two cups, I'm sorry, three cups, two swords, and a major arcana. Major Arcanas are your spiritual lessons. Cups, just about how you feel about something. Wands, you represent your desire, your focus, your passion. Coins represent either money, finances, or the doing of something. And swords, thoughts, beliefs, perceptions, ideas, and communication. I have two fives. Those are the only two cards with repeater numbers. I can even include the five over here, which is a hierophant, but that's kind of over the whole thing. Let me talk to you about the two fives in this spread, and then I'll add the fifth, the third five in. Nothing is happening right now. That's what the hangman says. It's about waiting.
trying to view something from a higher perspective. I think it has to do either with their job, like maybe you work in a university or a hospital, some place where um, like a hierarchical structure because we have the person disseminating down the information to two people. It may be a church or a charity, something like that. But usually it's about uh, represents kind of hospitals and universities. But you're waiting. Uh, you're just kind of waiting. You haven't figured out exactly what's going on yet. We're coming out of the Pisces full moon lunar eclipse. This represents Pisces. So there can be illusions, disillusions, uh, hallucinations. But it's basically about being in a fog. I see you all around actually doing something. But mentally, it's like everything is standing still. It's like you're in a dream or maybe a nightmare. So the Six of Wands talks about getting your name in the paper. It's about receiving accolades for a job well done. Before it was a six, it was a five of wands. So maybe there were some uh, mis... I don't want to say miscommunication. Maybe there were fights and arguments where you worked with someone, disagreements, somebody told you one thing, but they did another. It can represent, five of ones can represent head games. But the six says you have overcome that. And you have won. It's about leadership. So this could be about receiving a degree, uh, a promotion, uh, your name in the paper, Accolades for a job well done. That's all I can come up with right now. And it looks like some of the, something is going to be offered to you. I got two pinnacles. I have a cup and a pinnacle. Something that you're going to feel something about and you're not sure if you can do it. You're saying... I, look, I got this promotion. I got this raise. Uh, I got my degree. But now everything is okay with the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups says, don't turn down a potential cup of happiness. It can also represent being stagnant or not feeling melancholy or sad or unsure about this offer being presented to you. The seven of pinnacles, it's a seven. It represents, <clears throat> I'm sorry, a moment of self-doubt. Can I or can I? Can I not? Can I? Will I? Won't I? But first, you have to take a look at everything that you have to do. Already. Can I, do I have enough energy, enough time? I'm, everything is good where, where I'm at. I don't know if I can take this uh, seventh coin and place it on, on the bush. Can I cultivate it? Past, present, future. Past, present, future. Interplay of the cards. So I come to the Five of Cups. Look. Maybe you accepted the offer. And now you regret it. 
Maybe you go home at night and you drink yourself silly. And this is about sorrow. But the five of the fives are are like uh, sevens. No, the fives are ab about terse energy, changing energy. Difficult times. So maybe you accepted the offer. And you feel bad about it. Because you have five cups when you have four at first. So it tells me that you accepted one cup. The three that are sitting here on the ground are the same three that are laying on the ground. Crying over spilled milk. But the five of cups says things may not be as bad as you think they are or you feel they are because I call this card the two of cups in disguise. There are two cups behind him, upright cups, which says that is still plenty of happiness to be found. We skip over to the three. This is uh, the three of cups represents cooperation more than at least more than one person be, being involved in the situation. But it represents a universal kind of celebration, a promotion, a graduation, a baby shower, um, what do you call it when the girls a bridal party so it's something universal that everybody recognizes and can celebrate but we come to the second five again there are three people maybe this was about uh, uh, your promotion Because there are three people in the car, but two of them are walking away. So this car can be about slander, gossip, backstabbing. It can be fights, arguments. But usually when I see this car, the person standing in the front is a victor. That's you. And the card says, sometimes in a dispute, you have to stand up for yourself. You know, maybe you're the kind of person who doesn't like to stand up for themselves. But this card says you should do that if somebody is mis maligning you. But you have to be careful with this energy of the Five of Swords because if you start fighting with the people, they will sink to any level to win. And that includes you. And to me, it always says the person has two swords slung over his shoulder. And I always look at that as, should I have said that or not? You're of two minds about something, about the situation. And maybe it's, uh, maybe you're in competition with somebody. For a bigger promotion. Here we have the page of swords. Pages always represent to me. Only messages. You're going to get some kind of message coming in. Because it's a sword. So this is a message on a mental level. That you receive. But sometimes. The Page of Swords can be a nasty character. He can be somebody who spies and tells lies on you. And we go from a Four of Cups to a Five. And then we go to Three Cups. The Two Cups on the backside and a Celebration. And the Six of Swords, if we put 
the five and the page together gives me six source. That's about moving away from rougher waters to smoother waters, leaving something behind. And to me, the ten of coins, although it represents the MC in astrology chart, the highest, your status your focus, your ambition. It represents the highest level. It can be about um, working in a business, like a family business. It, it represents generational money, like money for generations. But sometimes to me, the card represents maybe uh, going to the next level or retiring. See the people, everybody works together. They're the, the man, the woman. These are people who are comfortable with each other. So sometimes it represents the workplace to me. Because not everybody has kids or maybe their kids have graduated. And the card always represents success to me. Only you can say what success is for yourself. It could be Either you have the corner office and the skyscraper or you got your kids through college. Everybody's definition of success is different. And additionally, you gain three cups, I mean three coins here at the very end. So in one way, it looks like you may have gotten a promotion or recognition but there was a, there is a period which you have to wait and see what's going on the other way the offer comes and you take it but you're sad but remember you have two cups behind you so maybe it'll turn out all right in the end This talks about to me about uh, working in a place where you will be well liked and respected. You get along with everybody. But something has happened here. So maybe there was somebody else who wanted the promotion or the job. And you had to fight with them. Let's see what the two fives say. I think it's, it says exciting times ahead. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I went to PT today and my memory is not it not good since my stroke. But it really isn't good when I come back from PT. <laughs> That's why I'm so thankful that I wrote this book. I'm going to make a... a a post on subject about how you can put together your own journal. I typed this up uh, lots of uh, many years ago. Uh, what am I looking for? The five of swords. And what the two fives mean. Two fives tell of new experiences ahead. There we go. See? That whole world right there says that it's going to get better. You have to wait and figure out what, what is really happening. I think that's a, the problem. You don't know exactly what's going on. Let's look at three fives. I said I was going to include the third five. It says not to overexert yourself. So maybe on one hand, you take the job. It offers you a lot of money and prestige, but you really are kind of feeling quite sad about it. But 
here a promotion or recognition you celebrate but then you have a fight with somebody or disagreement maybe they talk bad about you behind your back the nasty page of swords so let's uh, this is the only card I can look at because it's a court card so what I can do is look at all the cards as a ray to the hangman. This really feels like a, some kind of career or work thing. I forgot I switched out my books. Here we go. Because this book was not holding everything. Uh, let's look at the Six of Wands. With the Hierophant. Implies that there may be someone around you who is supportive and generous. And who will assist you when needed. needed. The person understands the, the needs of others and responds accordingly. The person is well established within themselves and their life and is in a position to be of the utmost help and assistance. If you were to ask for assistance from this person, it is likely that would be very generous towards you with their time and knowledge. That's it with the... Successful endeavors will attract public attention of some kind, be it an article in a local paper or something more widespread. Public accolades are yours and are well deserved. Relationships are on the mend when the cart shows up. Good news is coming. Six of Wands. Okay, Four of Cups. Next to the Hangman. Indicates that someone is wallowing in self-pity, has lost their directions, direction in life, and feels in a bind. That's what I said. It indicates a time of self-pity and feeling sorry for yourself. The message is that you, the person themselves will have to get out of their own predicament. Seven of coins. nothing except to be patient that's what the card says five of cups brings a message that things are not final as final as they may initially seem it can be an indica indication that there is positive and uplifting news that will bring a joyful message. The Three of Cups. With the Hierophant. It tells of an upcoming gathering, meeting, or, converse, uh, or convention which will reap positive rewards. It can be an unusual or unconventional gathering or specialized meeting or conference. All involved will be appreciative of the results. The Three of Cups with the this card represents a universal type of gathering. It can be tell of the successful new lifestyle with a happy conclusion. Five of C 
Cups. I mean, Five of Swords. Tells me nothing. Except that there might be a permanent breakup. A separation of a partnership or relationship of some kind. It will usually be due to the choices made by another. It can also be warning of malicious gossip. Of losing something or someone of importance to you. Unfair dealings and or theft. You are asked to remain wary. It also says that the victory that you or achievement you have been waiting for will be well deserved. It tells of achieving or receiving something that you have wanted for a long time and it indicating that you may reap the rewards of past efforts. There we go. So let's look at, I'm going to pull cards on the, basically the page of source is a student of communication. He's not afraid to get closer to the truth. It really, I don't really want to pull cards because it. Seems to me that this is a pretty positive reading, but we have to look at the page of swords. The Viaggio, a trip or visit. Maybe that's what the message is about. La Leggerezza. This card is known as carelessness. It can mean you're about to trust someone with something that you shouldn't you're not paying attention and the peacock which is the um, superbia this card is about I'm trying to find the words it represents What is it? A, a wand? Yes. A two of wands. In business, it represents prosperity, good fortune, fame, recognition, success, career or social advancement. It marks a period of good luck and the success of the matter inquired about. And that's what the news is going to be about. Uh, I believe you might take a trip somewhere, but if you're not careful, you're going to trust somebody or you're not going to be paying attention, but it's going to turn out right. Out, all right. That's what I have for you, Taurus. And that's good news. So, good luck. I didn't pull a oracle card. So let's pull an oracle card. That looks pretty good to me. And you know, sometimes you just have to wait. Sometimes you have to wait. Hopefully... that will clear up so let's just pull a card and hopefully you can see it yes discontent and boredom 
Four of Cups. Feeling stagnant. As if things aren't moving for you. This card signifies a time when you may experience stagnation, discontent, and boredom. Feelings of restlessness and impatience surround you. A relationship, project, or situation isn't moving forward fast enough and could be draining you emotionally and energetically. You are longing for change. And although one door may be closing... Don't focus all of your energy on it, as opportunity will knock soon. A window or another door could quickly open. If your attention and awareness is in focus, you could easily miss it. Watch for synchronistic events that bring books, speakers, workshops, and new people into your life. Any of these could possibly hold a message for you. Have faith in the divine timing and know that everything changes for a reason. This card acts, a, acts as a reminder that it's a perfect time to reevaluate and search within your heart and soul for fresh insights. That's really what the Hierophant is about. Have faith and know what your values are. So now I can close the video down. That's it. Good luck.